The next type of SQL query that is useful for data analytics are the window functions. The term window in the window function refers to an individual group or partition within a result set from an SQL query. This means that we partition the data from an SQL query into different groups. The window functions allows you to create partitions in table while enabling rows to retain their separate identities. This means that the data within the rows is not changed, only the way in which they are presented as the result set is changed. An important part of window functions is the partition by clause. The partition by clause divides a result set into partitions and performs a computation on each partition data subset. The over clause is also used in window functions. It indicates that a function will be applied to all the rows that are returned by a query. There are three main categories of window functions. First, ranking, then value, and then aggregation. The ranking window functions displays ranking information associated with rows and numerical columns. The value window function displays assigned values that are associated with each partition while the aggregate window functions displays aggregate values from numerical columns. First, we are going to discuss the ranking window function. As I already mentioned that ranking window functions displays ranking information associated with rows. What actually happens is, it divides the result set into different partitions on the basis of some column. Then all the rows in each partition are assigned ranks starting from 1. These ranks can also be given on the basis of some column of partition. Then comes the second type of window functions which is the value window functions. What actually happens is, it divides the result set into different partitions on the basis of some column. And then a column is specified on the basis of which all other values of the partition for that particular column are set. Finally, we have the aggregation window functions. What this function does is, it divides the result set into partitions on the basis of a particular column and then for a column, it calculates either the sum, average or any other operation for all the rows in that partition and then creates a new column and assigns the same value to all the rows in the partition. Now we are going to perform an example for each of the three window functions. So for the ranking window function, I have selected the cumulative distribution function, which is going to assign a cumulative value to each row in the partition. So in this query, I have selected procedure subcode, description, procedure type, and price from the procedure details table. And I've applied the cumulative distribution function over, and I've created the partition on the basis of procedure type. So what it is going to do is, it is going to show the result set and divide it into partition on the basis of procedure type. And then for each row in each partition, it is going to assign a cumulative distribution on the basis of number of rows in each partition. Here you can see that for the procedure type general surgeries, the cumulative distribution values are these. And then for the next partition, which is for grooming, since it has total of three rows, that is why the cumulative distribution is 0 0.331 1 and 1 for same value of price. Now we will discuss an example for the value window function. Here is an example for the value window function. The value window function that I have used is the first value function. In this query, I have selected procedure subcode description procedure type and price from the procedure details function. And I have applied the first value function on price. And I have made the partition on the basis of procedure type ordered by price as price first value. So what this query is going to do is it is going to uh, show the result set and partition it on the basis of procedure type. And then for, for each row in each partition, it is going to assign the first value of price to each of the values in each row. Let's execute the query. Here you can see that for the first procedure type, which is the general surgery, the first price was 15, which is assigned to all the rows in this partition. And then for the next 
procedure type which is grooming the first value for price was 10 and this is assigned to all three rows for the price first value. Now we will discuss one function from the aggregate window function. This is an example for the aggregate window function. Here I have used the count aggregate window function. What this query is doing, it is selecting the procedure subcode description, procedure type and price from the procedure's details table. And I have used the count aggregate window function and I have made the partition on the basis of procedure type as price first value. So what it is going to do is it is going to return a result set and partition the data on the basis of procedure type and then for each partition it is going to count the number of rows and show it in a new column which will be called the price first value. Let's execute the query. Here you can see that for the procedure type general surgery the price first value which is the count is 19 which means that there is a total of 19 rows in this partition. Then for the grooming procedure type there are a total of 3 rows so the count value is 3 and so on. 